The sun is due south in the middle of the day, and that means it's casting shadows to the north side of any obstacles. On any track that runs from east to west, you will see more puddles on the south side. My name's Tristan Gooley. I'm the author of How to Read Water, Clues and Patterns from Puddles to the Sea. We can use puddles to find our way. Puddles are amazing things. They, they tell us so much about what the wildlife and the people have been doing in an area before we got there, but they can also be used as a compass. The sun is due south in the middle of the day, and that means it's casting shadows to the north side of any obstacles. What this means is, on any track that runs from east to west, you will see more puddles on the south side. The sun in the middle of the day is drying everything except the bits it can't reach, they stay wet, so we see more puddles on the south side of tracks. What I like to do, uh, and I get some funny looks when I do it, is, is to get really low down uh, and to look at the surface of a puddle, because then we can use the surface of the puddle as quite a fine instrument. If there are any vibrations at all, if there's a, a train approaching even quite a long way away, it sends vibrations through the ground. We might not feel them, but in the surface of the puddle we get a little bit of movement. And so if we look across a puddle at something in the distance, we might see that tiny bit of movement. And that's a clue to something that might be approaching, something that's happening in our environment. 